Okay. Well, uh, hello. It's, uh, it's, uh, I'm pleased to be joined uh, with my colleagues Ben Carroll and Vicky Ward. And as has been reported by the um, returning officer of the Victorian Parliamentary Labor Party, um, I have been uh, elected unanimously, endorsed unanimously by my caucus colleagues to replace the fabulous Daniel Andrews as leader of the Victorian Parliamentary Labor Party and in turn follow in his footsteps uh, as Premier of Victoria and we'll be heading over to Government House shortly uh, for the uh, official part of that proceeding. I'm delighted to be joined by uh, my parliamentary colleague Ben Carroll who has been also endorsed by our caucus colleagues as Deputy Premier and, uh, and also Vicky Ward who is the member for Eltham and will be filling the ministerial vacancy created by the uh, now resignation of the member for Mulgrave, uh, Daniel Andrews. Well, it is such a deep honour and privilege to be in the position to be heading to Government House and to be uh, sworn in as Premier of Victoria. And can I say, 24 years ago, uh, to almost to the day when I walked into this place, as a much younger woman from regional Victoria, I, I never expected to have this length of service or indeed to be able to have had the honour and privilege of serving the Victorian community in various ministerial roles under premiers, strong, decisive premiers of Steve Brax, John Brumby and more recently Daniel Andrews. And then to in turn have the support, unanimous support today from my co parliamentary colleagues is indeed also a deep privilege and one that I pledge to continue to work incredibly hard as I have done each and every day. I have had the honour to represent my community of Bendigo East, the community where I live, uh, the community that I represent, the community where my husband and I are raising our two beautiful, wonderful children. Uh, can I, I would also like to make a few acknowledgements and I firstly want to acknowledge uh, the now outgoing Premier of Victoria, Daniel Andrews. There's been lots written in just the last 24 hours about Daniel, and Daniel Andrews' leadership, his strength, his courage, his determination, how he's been driven by his values every single day he has served the Victorian community. And I want to thank him, Kath, their wonderful children for the service they've given their, the, the Victorian community. And I also want to uh, thank his staff who've also worked incredibly hard and particularly want to single out Lissy Ratcliffe and Jessie McCrone who have served this state with such great distinction. Uh, I also want to uh, thank for the love and support of my family. Um, I've mentioned my husband and two wonderful children um, who, uh, who give me such tremendous love and support and who very much keep it real when you uh, head home and, uh, and uh, work through the issues of the day. Not my issues of the day, but their issues of the day as, uh, as a family. But also too, as the daughter of working people, uh, my father, Ben and I were just reflecting. We're both uh, kids of power workers. My father worked at the SEC, as Ben's did as well, and uh, pr a proud union member, and also uh, come from a proud uh, Labor family. My mother and father have given me the foundation of everything I have done in my professional and personal life, and they've given me those values of hard work, determination to drive quality of outcome, a quality of opportunity. And it's those values that I carry forward through to this day and onwards in the, in the role I will serve, in the way I will serve as the Premier of Victoria. I will also just say this, I pledge to the Victorian community that I will continue to work hard as I've done every single day as a Member of Parliament, particularly too, I think in the last eight years, how we have worked hard as a government. We've certainly driven a big and strong agenda in the transport infrastructure space where we've gotten away big and complex and challenging projects that uh, we haven't run away from. I haven't <laughs> walked away from those challenges we've pushed on because we've understood the importance of those projects like the Metro Tunnel and like the projects underway, the North East Link, the Westgate Tunnel, removing level crossings as we've been doing across the community of Melbourne. But I also come to this role with the opportunity to uh, continue the strong reform agenda and also chart uh, a future course for the state and in coming days and weeks I'll have more to say about uh, policy priorities that I'll be bringing to this role. Today, though, is about obviously marking that transition, uh, marking that transition and signalling to the Victorian community that pledge of working incredibly hard. 